Let's see what our friend likes to listen to. Most played Brooks and Dunn. I need tickets for Brooks and Dunn. You got that, Parker? Uh, you're not supposed to be in here. Tell me about it, buddy. Why are you here? I work here. Flippin' fantastical. They called me on my night off and gone in double bookie. Better call the main office. Find out what's going on here. Well, please do, Skipper, because if I got to work tonight, then I need to find somebody to take this Brooks and Dunn ticket off my hands. You know what? I am starting to remember something about having the night off. Don't you think you should go in and double check that butter britches? Nah, I definitely remember now. Really? All right, now. Think you can find somebody to take this ticket off my hands? I think I can find somebody. My hot diggity dag gum. Let me, uh, get you this uh, brush and done, Nick, so. It can span, damn, look, there it goes, right there. I must have dropped it. Been there the whole time. <laughs> whole time. All right, All right. well, <laughs> thanks. All right, yeah, well, you were right, man. Give me a T-shirt. I said you could sing. I can't sing. I just, I didn't realize there was going to be this many people. You are nervous. <laughs> Relax, man. I told you, I got you. Say something. I don't speak on command, Hardison. Perfect. Now, I rigged my laptop to record your cum. Now, this means that I can alter your pitch from anywhere to make you sound like Darth Elliot. I'll speak on command, Hardison. To Spencer Smurf. I'll speak on command, Hardison. Hardison? <laughs> Don't ever do the Smurf thing again. Right. So, the software takes the frequency of your voice and it matches it to the key of the song, then uses a four-year transform to correct the pitch and sends the tuned audio out through the bar speakers. What does that mean? That means that for tonight, Elliot has perfect pitch. You ever wonder how Britney Spears sounds so good on her tracks? But well, this is it. Except mine's is in real time, baby. Uh, who exactly did you just refer to as baby? It's like the universal term of baby. How old are you? Hi. Welcome to Kirkwood Records. I'm JC. Anything you need, you just let me know. Okay, hey, first of all, my man, real quick, lose the attitude. Second of all, yes, it's her. Breathe. I'm okay. Um, if I could get you to fill out these visitor badges. Did you just look her in the eyes? Oh, I I, I don't think I was. Whoa, chill with the attitude. Don't don't raise your voice. Did they not tell you nothing? You know who you in front of. Think about it, Iceland, pop star, figure it out, click it together, bells and whistles, give me something. Uh, be your... Oh. 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 I'm sorry, oh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? Is the duck good? Woman, for real, get up in here. Yeah, mommy, 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 real quick. Okay. I hope for your sake that you was not about to say what I think you was about to say. Well, I don't think I was. What I'm gonna need you to do is just roll up out of here, cuz, cuz you messing up the aura. We was cool, we was vibing. Okay. Yeah. Um, great. Well, I'm gonna get going on that paperwork. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Okay. So I can start recording this hillbilly. I crossed the ocean, a pond, and a creek to get here. Hey, yo, Elliot, you got an ETA? Yeah, I'm almost there, but I think somebody's following me. Do some Elliot fool on him. What happened to. This is what I do. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work this time. <laughs> I've been meaning to tell you this, uh, Kenneth Crane, he is blowing up on Twitter. He's got a fan page and everything. It's a pretty good picture, too. That's the problem. I can't have my picture out there like that. Well, contrary to what y'all may believe, I do not control everything that happens on the internet. There's a price on my head in three different countries, and I'm fairly certain a thought what was issued. You are so vain, man. Boom, there. Fan site new. But you know what? When you get back, we're gonna have us a serious conversation about the difference between caution and paranoia. You've done the things I've done, there's no such thing as paranoia. You ready, man? Yeah. Alright. Now, hold up, man. It's, it's a little pitchy. It's just a scotch. A little pitchy. It's pitchy. 
in that very same spot, right? It's yeah, it's a little pitchy. And when I know, no, hold up, man. Hang on, man. Let me get into the song. Did you practice your wobbles? Damn, Just put a, smooth it out. Like you know, when a new moon shines through you. No. Listen to me, man. Say pitchy one more time. Say pitchy one more time and see what happens. I don't even think that word means what you think it means. It means pitchy. Define it. You define it. I don't have to define it. I'm not saying it every five seconds. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I can't. I, lo I lost you. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I, I, it's... Okay, so this is the original recording of the song that made Kirkwood famous. And this is the recording you released to the video. It's not the same. Which one is Kirkwood? That's just it, neither. It's the same song, just with a pitch adjustment. Well, then who's singing the song? I'm matching a voice print right now. Where's Elliot? Got it, boom. Jesse Jenkins. All right, that's, that's why Kirkwood never recorded a second song. He didn't record the first one. Kirkwood paid him off? No, I don't think so. Jenkins sued him. Copyright infringement, harassment, fraud, the whole nine, but his charges weren't formally dropped. They went to court? Not exactly. Any other guesses? <laughs> 